what's up guys this is Fido back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today this is gonna be interesting because I'm gonna be trying to flash the MIUI 12.5 Xiaomi.eu ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro so that I can show you how you can flash it and this is gonna be kind of an experiment because the proper way to actually flash this is using the Orange Fox Beta R11.0 underscore one that is the MIUI specific one which is like the encryption based because if you flash MIUI 12.5 with that recovery that will encrypt your storage so yeah that is the correct method to flash that you can watch this video if you want to flash the orange fox recovery so that you can see how to flash the orange fox recovery on your device and also after flashing the orange fox recovery this MIUI specific version you have to format data once then you can go ahead and flash your MIUI 12.5 but today in this video, I'm going to be trying the latest Orange Fox stable version that is this one here. As you can see, it says R11.0.1 official. So this is a stable build of the Orange Fox recovery. And here, if you notice, it says if the device remains decrypted, that way you can flash MIUI 12.5. So here, I'm going to use the Fcrypt Disveller version 3 for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. If you don't have the link for that, I'll put the link for everything I'll use in this video. And by the way, I'm currently on the ShapeShift OS on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And if you haven't seen the video of the ShapeShift OS, again, card will be right there in the corner. And I would say, yeah, let's go ahead and try to flash it because I have already downloaded it. Let me show you here in this folder. This is the file itself. As you can see, this is the Xiaomi.eu ROM file, which is about 2.85 GB. So quite large. And this is the Fcrypt Disveller version 3 that I'm going to use. And by the way, I am already decrypted. And again, I'm using the official stable latest Orange Fox recovery version R11.0 underscore one. Now let's just go to home. And right now I'll just go to wipe and select Dalvi cache system vendor and data. And right now I'm not formatting data because this is kind of experiment again. So yeah, let's try this. And by the way, again, my storage is decrypted on the latest Orange Fox recovery. And if I go into the settings of the Orange Fox recovery and here in the OTA settings, I do have this disable force encryption enabled. So that means we should not face an encryption problem, but still I'm going to flash the force encrypt version three zip separately. So let's try this. So right now I'm into the download folder. So first I'll select the ROM file, of course, and then add to queue. Then I'll select the Fcrypt Disabler. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So I think right now it's done almost. And right now it is flashing the Fcrypt Disabler and it's rebooting right now because I had that option enabled. Let's see what happens. It just shows me a black screen. Okay, so right now it's showing me the boot logo. Let's see. Okay, so it showed me one more time. Just showing me the Redmi logo. And it is showing the MIUI logo right now. The boot animation looks amazing. So I'm hoping that it will boot, but let's wait for the time being. So my find device was actually one and I did activate the device right now by connecting to it like with the account and Wi-Fi, of course. So right now let's continue with the setup. And as of right now, I would say everything seems to be fine. And I would say the storage should be decrypted. Let's see. Let's hit next. And from here it shows choose language. So of course I'll select this English United States. Let's continue. Now I chose the region to India, of course, and here insert SIM card, it says I'll do that later. And these icons looks amazing. I would say this Wi-Fi kind of setup over here. Right now it's showing me copy apps and data over here. So I'll do that from the Google account, of course. Right now it's showing me the password kind of section. I'll select fingerprint. So right now it's time to tap the fingerprint scanner. And yeah, seems like it's working fine. But still, I'd say it does not show me the option to actually like put another finger or assign another finger. So that's how it is. And there is the personalized ads that is turned off right now, I think, because this is Xiaomi.eu and you can go with the classic look or the app drawer. I'll select the app drawer one setup complete. So right now. OK, so that was pretty quick and I'll remember the choice and go with the system launcher. All right, so this is how the home screen looks like. I mean, it looks pretty much like MIUI, but it is uh, like it does have some different flavors, I would say, like 
it looks good not bad at all and let's see if the app drawer okay so the home screen is frozen typical MIUI okay right now the app drawer is working fine I guess there are two cameras why what cameras are these let's see with this one so with the first camera front camera and stuff is working fine although I'm noticing a bit of stutter or like UI lag over here or camera UI lag so yeah maybe this is because just the first boot and everything is downloading over here so yeah and in the video settings let me see what settings that you get all right so 4k 30 fps is back over here so 4k 30 fps should be working fine and for the front camera we have up to 1080p 30 fps option for the front camera of course i mean <laughs> i was on the front camera so yeah portrait mode is working fine with the front camera so yeah with the rear camera too portrait mode should be working fine also let's check what camera is there like the second one the same camera shows two times in the app drawer i don't know why like look at this why there are like two of these cameras and inside my device it shows me y12.5 by like xiaomi.eu 21.3.17 is the version that is 17th march 2021 i guess so i just disabled the dark theme because i want to show you guys this section in white and here as you can see there is the miui version if i tap on it okay so right now it shows this kind of page from where you can check for updates and if i tap here i can directly reboot to recovery so let's do that and see what we get like do we still have orange fox recovery as decrypted let's see shows the orange fox boot animation or the boot picture and here yeah we have the decrypted storage so that is just great i do have all the files i can see all the files that i already had so yes that is great if your storage was already decrypted and even if you were on a custom rom this is the way that you should use like this is the way that you can flash the miui 12.5 on your redmi note 7 pro that is just great and this is how the volume panel looks like you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here i guess and as you can see you can control the media volume like this although i am noticing some amount of lag here and you can tap here to get the full volume panel expanded it expands like this and by the way this is how the power menu and stuff looks like you can like reboot like this or you can power the device off like this so this power menu looks very beautiful in my opinion really cool animations i would say in the settings we have the my device section let me show you we have the redmi note 7 pro specs over here of course let's see okay the android version is still android 10 so yeah that's how it is not android 11 for the redmi note 7 pro i guess so yeah let me go back okay so going back from here again the miui version is mentioned and the security patch is of first march 2021 and you can see the other things like the baseband version and stuff stock kernel is of course the perf g kernel and you have some status stuff and let me go back from here so that i can show you some more things like the additional settings and stuff here we get the quick ball and stuff gesture shortcuts etc let's see if the full screen display actually works let's go with the gestures i would select not now okay so the home screen takes a little bit more time over here after switching to the full screen of course and here hide full screen indicator so you can hide this fill bar i guess and swipe for like swipe up from corner for google assistant yeah that feature is there yep play store should be working fine and it is already downloading all the apps from play store so yeah let me actually okay so right now if i go into the settings there is also the home screen settings and you can change the minus one screen to google discover and stuff let me go back we have the search bar provider too for the home screen and here you can also set that to google so that is great and double tap to sleep on the home screen to lock the device is there and we have the home screen layout and stuff so from here you can change the layout then the icons you can also increase the icon size if you want to a bit and you can also change the styles of the icons from here i guess as you can see these are the icons that you can change the styles to let me go back we have the hide app icon global icon animation and we have the arrange item on the recents and stuff and vertically horizontally you can choose whatever you want like if you want horizontally as you can see all the like recent apps will be coming like this so this is great that we get all these features in miui and here we have the show memory status in recents 
show shiations i'll just disable that this is how the battery settings looks like you can also enable the battery saver and stuff and of course i'll test the 18 watt fast charging and stuff those should be working fine though and here we have the other settings so yeah this is how you can flash the mi y 12.5 when you have already installed a custom rom and you can clean flash the rom without losing your data or every file in the storage so yeah you guys should like follow this method instead of flashing in encrypted way i guess so that's been it guys please share this video out with your friends if you want them to know about how to flash the mui 12.5 on the redmi note 7 pro and if you want them to know how it is working and stuff you have to wait for the next video right now give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now